Huh. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. If you were so offended by it, why'd you cover it up then? If it had nothing to do with you and your shit, then why'd you try to protect him for so what long? What cover up? I never made any attempt to hide Georgie's criminal activity from you. I learned of it myself for only fuck's recently. For sake. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see that's you that's want that's to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? That's you true. gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And
And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Das ist richtig. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Der Crooked Man hat niemanden mehr. Gott sei Dank. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Also jetzt kommt's auf einmal. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He was attacking me and I... I just acted. I didn't think. That's the only reason? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own This crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I that's I not mean, a true. Certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. <sighs> I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. That's kind We're of kind spirit. of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself. 
back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! Will... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. So is that. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did oh, you shit. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's Up it. Up in the down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So we get rid of him. It's too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Oh my. Clearly, we're Shit. having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. You should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, uh, Mr. Wolf. It's your call. It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. Ja, super. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Um, I should have pressed the Oh shit. Hello. There you are. I hope you all. Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. Ach, dann, uh, no, I won't. Gute Reise. <laughs> oh, man. For Lily. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Hopefully, hört das jetzt auf. Hammerhart. Was für ein Finale. Richtig heftig. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, was auf uns zukommt. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. 
I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Okay. Krass. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Ah, oh, nicht schlecht. Right, thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Na. Oh, man. Immer viel zu tun. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Auch so ein Sixer Bier. Schön. Ui, ui, ui. Wo ist eigentlich Quen? Ach so, der ist ja in Paris. Stimmt, da war ja was. Wie, der muss zur Farm. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! Ich hab gedacht, der muss bleiben. Also, der, der kann bleiben. Carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Oh, I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you Ach, give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow Ach, beetle. Süß. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Ach, We're about ready süß. to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ. But, uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Ach, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Ach, schade. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Nah. Scheiße. Saying goodbye. Ja, das stimmt. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. 
I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh, no. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> so, Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Nerissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Ach, Mensch. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. Na super. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. Oh, I God. just pointed you in the right direction. People like das us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Nerissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Hmm. Yeah. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. God sei Dank. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, 
It was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Das ist aber nett von mir. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Okay. Hm. Sieht mir nach einer Fortsetzung aus, aber leider wird keine mehr kommen, weil das Studio pleite ist. Das war sowohl für Mongas. Aber hart. Okay, gucken wir uns jetzt mal die Spielentscheidungen an. 68% der Spieler haben Georgie getötet. Gnadenstoß, also keine Ahnung. Den einfach sterben lassen, das ist jetzt nicht so eine gute Sache. Hast du den krummen Mann einen Prozess gewährt? Du, 89% der Spieler haben ihn Leben zurückgebracht. Wundert mich irgendwie, wenn ich ehrlich bin. Du und 38% der Spieler haben den in den Brunnen geworfen. Okay, so wenig. Krass. 98% der Spieler haben das Geschenk angenommen. Ja klar, warum nicht? Wie lauteten deine letzten Worte, Worte an Anessa? Okay. Das war sowohl für Mongas. Ein wieder mal grandioses Spiel, meiner Meinung nach, von Telltale Games. Schade, dass dieses ähm, Studio pleite gegangen ist, weil ich habe diese Spiele geliebt von diesem Studio. Die ganzen Walking Dead Spiele haben wir ja schon durch. Jetzt auch noch sowohl für Mongas. Ich bin hoch auf begeistert. Muss ich immer noch zugeben. Und bei diesem Spiel kann ich jetzt eigentlich nichts Negatives sagen, wenn ich ehrlich bin. Ich denke jetzt gerade drüber nach, weil ich habe jetzt innerhalb von drei Tagen das Spiel jetzt durch. Und mir fällt jetzt gerade nichts ein. Muss ich ehrlich zugeben. Ich habe auch keine Bugs gesehen. Und äh, nur positiv. Was, äh, was ich krass fand, ich bin in dieses Spiel komplett blind reingegangen. Oh. Ähm. Ja, da gehe ich jetzt gleich schon mal drauf ein. Beast, du hast ihm nicht gesagt, dass du Bell vor der Wohnung gesehen hast. Bell, du hast sie in deinem detektivischen Talent beeindruckt. <lacht> du hast Colin einen Trick gegeben, okay, als er nach deiner Wohnung gefragt hat. Du hast ihm geholfen, der Farm zu entgehen. Ja, finde ich gut, aber dass äh, Mr. Toad trotzdem zur Farm musste mit TJ, das fand ich traurig. Ähm, der krumme Mann, du hast ihn zum verwunschen Boden gebracht. Ja, und reingeworfen. Du hast dieses Geld beschlagnahmt, genau. <lacht> Damit du hast ihn getötet. Schade. Ähm, Faith, ja. Ne? Du hast ja einen Job angeboten, du hast mit Green und Lillys Beerdigung getrunken. Ja, du hast ja die mit ihm gemacht mit Jack. Larissa. Snow, du hast sie mit ins Script-Track genommen. Du hast, also wir haben ja das Foto gezeigt. Und wir haben versprochen, den Crooked Man Leben zurückzubringen. Auf den haben wir gewartet, TJ. Ja, das Geschenk für Snow, natürlich haben wir den genommen. Du bist für ihn eingetreten, ja. Auf jeden Fall, ich, ich finde, der hätte das verdient, aber was wollen wir da machen? Ja, ich weiß es gerade nicht mehr, was ich eben noch sagen wollte, aber auf jeden Fall ein grandioses Spiel. Ich bin sehr beeindruckt und ich finde es echt schade, dass es jetzt keinen zweiten Teil mehr geben wird. Schade, schade. Aber nun gut. Ich sage jetzt einfach mal, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß bei diesem Let's Play. Wir werden uns dann hoffentlich auch in einem anderen Let's Play wiedersehen bzw. wiederhören. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis dahin, Leute. Habt noch einen schönen Tag. 
Haut rein, Leute. Ciao.